You have to live it. You really have to live it. For Amaya Zafar, boxing is life. How much work and time do you put into this sport? All of my time. All of my time. I'm here four hours every day. For the past three years, the 16-year-old from St. Paul, Minnesota, has given this sport her all. You have to be hungry for it. You have to want it, like really, really, really want it. And the moment I walked into a boxing gym, that was, I was in love, in love. It was love at first sight for Amaya, but when it comes to her amateur boxing career, well, she's still waiting for her fairy tale ending. And I haven't actually fought, so I don't know what it's like to have that that moment where it's all on me. Because boxing isn't her only love. My religion and boxing is my whole life. Like, I practice my religion and I practice boxing every day. And as of now, her religion is standing in the way. They have said I can't fight with long sleeves and pants and a scarf. The Muslim teen follows a traditional dress code some women follow, which consists of veiling or covering the entire body except the face, hands, and feet. And the scarf she wears on her head is called a hijab. To me, it's like my crown. It's my way of saying I'm a Muslim. I need to wear that for my religion. I'm, I'm not willing to go without it. And because of that, they haven't let me fight. According to the International Boxing Association and USA Boxing Rulebook, Boxers must wear a sleeveless athletic shirt and a pair of loose-fitting trunks that reach halfway down the thigh, no lower than the knees. Boxers are not permitted to wear additional apparel other than the competition uniform into the ring, something she disagrees with and considers to be a jab to not only her religion, but freedom. I shouldn't have to compromise um, my hijab and my modesty for my sport and I shouldn't have to compromise my sport for that. It's America, you know, I should be able to practice both. But when it comes to her jobs and sports, that doesn't always seem to be the case. In fact, the International Basketball Federation, the International Volleyball Federation, and the International Swimming Federation all have regulations that prevent or significantly limit an athlete's ability to compete if they wear a hijab or cover their bodies. However, there has been progress. The International Football Association overturned their ban on religious headgear in 2014. And advocacy groups like Shears Anon are currently fighting the hijab ban in basketball. This rule had been in place for maybe 20 years uh, before Muslim females were widely playing the game. Why does this need to change, and not only for basketball, but for all sports? Well, number one, as it's written in the Olympic Charter, that the practice of sport is a human right. Shirzanan, which means female heroes in Persian, works to advance Muslim women's rights in sports and media. And now they're fighting for Amaya, too. I just contacted her. We're trying to determine how to implement a standard uniform that's acceptable to, for all observant Muslims to wear. Making her their youngest ambassador alongside other trailblazers just like herself. To me that makes it feel really real that I might, you know, I am a trailblazer. I am working to get things changed. Last November at the Sugar Burt Boxing National Championships in Kissimmee, Florida, what appeared to be another defeat turned out to be a victory in disguise. So when we went to Florida, and they disqualified me. The girl I was going to compete with, when they disqualified me, she gave me the belt. And that, that turned the situation around. Like it went from feeling like I got cheated and feeling like it wasn't fair, what happened wasn't fair, to being like, you know what? It wasn't, but we're gonna change it. Like I have people that are standing with me. Standing with her, and for some, even looking up to her. Come on, push through, let's go. When I'm working with a kid and I see them get excited because they're doing it right, I see myself in them and I love that. Because she knows this battle is about more than just her. Emily Reppert, Channel One News.